You know, there's a video out there called Rotendo. The Rotendo is once an advanced playboating move, and here you are learning it in playboating basics. How cool is that? The Rotendo, nothing other than a retentive ender. Retentive is a term we're going to be using more and more in our playboating here. Retentive means that you've, whatever you've done, you've retained yourself in the hole or the feature. If you've done a retentive ender, that means you've entered in a hole and you've stayed in the hole so you can do more playboating action. So the key to doing a retendo, number one is to find the strongest part of the hole, the, hole that, the part of the hole that's most likely and has the most backwash to hold you in when you do your move. So go ahead and ferry onto the hole, point the bow upstream, right before your bow hits the green water, drop your edge at about 45 degrees, do your double pump, and you'll notice your bow comes through easier than it ever did in flat water. It'll come through so fast, boom, you'll land sideways in the hole hopefully right side up, but even if you're upside down, just roll up. Now you've done a retendo on edge. You're ready for the cartwheel. Now there are a couple mistakes that people will make with a retendo. Number one is a hit bottom. You're going to have to learn just how deep a certain hole is, and every hole has a different depth to it. Some are so deep you can never hit bottom, and some are so shallow it takes the ultimate skill to stay off the bottom. The key, though, for shallow holes to stay off the bottom is to initiate your bow as early as you possibly can. Now, if you can already do a flat water cartwheel or a double pump, you can initiate before you get to the green water. Now, what do you notice when you're sitting in the foam pile? You're higher up in the air. That means the water's deeper there. The further you paddle up the backwash up to the green water, the shallower the water is going to be. So the further back you initiate your retendo, the deeper it's going to be. So if the first time you hit bottom, the next time initiate a little bit further back. If you hit bottom again, a little bit further back. And if you can't get the boat vertical or you're still hitting bottom and you're way back, you need to find a deeper hole. All right, let's move on to the cartwheel.